Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, you will learn how to store your RDS database password in the Systems Manager Perimeter Store. Then you will learn how to retrieve the perimeter in your CloudFormation template. I have included this CloudFormation template in this video's description and you can use it as a reference to complete this tutorial. For example, this CloudFormation template will create an RDS instance and on line 19, this is where we are entering the database password for our RDS instance. Instead of storing the RDS password like this, if you want to store the RDS password in the Systems Manager Perimeter Store and reference the perimeter on your CloudFormation template, the first thing you have to do is store the password for your RDS database in the Systems Manager Perimeter Store. So what I will do is I will copy this password. Then I will go to the Management Console. In the management console, type systems manager in the search box. Then select systems manager under services. In the systems manager console, select perimeter store and click create perimeter. Give the perimeter a name. You can enter your perimeter name like this, or you can enter a single word. Once you've given your perimeter a name, scroll down. On that tier, leave it on standard and scroll down. On that type, let's use a secure string. So select secure string, and we will leave the KMS key source as default. Scroll down. And on that value, this is where you will enter the value of your database password. So I'm going to paste my database password here. Once you have entered the value of your database password, click create perimeter. And there you go. We have created a perimeter in the systems manager perimeter store. If you select the perimeter and under value, click show, you will see the value of your perimeter here. So here, this is your perimeter name. And anytime you call this perimeter name, this is the value that is stored under this perimeter name. Once you have created your perimeter, let's go back to the CloudFormation stack. In the CloudFormation stack, I have added this AWS documentation that shows you how to reference a perimeter that is stored in Perimeter Store. So I'm going to hover over this and open this link. This is the AWS documentation that shows you how to reference a perimeter in the Systems Manager Perimeter Store. And if you scroll down to Example, you can see the example here. One thing I want to show you is if you scroll down here, right now for RDS instance, the Systems Manager Perimeter Store only supports master user password. So this means that you can only store your master user password in Perimeter Store. Let's scroll up here again. To reference your database password that you store in Perimeter Store, this is the value you will use to reference it. So let's copy this, then come back to your CloudFormation template. And under the master user password, we will paste it there. Once you have pasted the value, we have to change this part to our perimeter name. So let's go back to the management console and copy our perimeter name. This is our perimeter name. Select it and copy it. Once you copy the perimeter name, go back to your CloudFormation template. And here, you are going to paste it there. Make sure you paste your perimeter name between this colon and this colon. And for the number here, this is the version. We are going to enter one. This is how you can use CloudFormation to reference an RDS database password that is stored in the Systems Manager Perimeter Store. Once you have entered your value, save your work. I'm going to select File and select Save All. Once you have saved your work, we will use this template to create the CloudFormation stack. So let's go to the Management Console. In the Management Console, type CloudFormation in the search box. Then select CloudFormation under Services. Click Create Stack. Then under Specify Template, click Upload a Template File. Then click Choose File. 
browse to the location where you saved your cloud formation template select your cloud formation template and click open then scroll down here and click next give your stack a name i'll call the stack rds and click next then scroll down here and click next then on this page scroll down again and click submit we are now creating the rds stack and we will give it some time to finish creating it if you want to see the events click refresh here you can see that it is now creating the rds stack it will take some time to create the rds instance and i will pause the video here and wait for cloud formation to finish creating the rds instance after waiting a couple of minutes cloud formation has finished creating the rds instance if you right click on the aws logo and open it in a new tab then go to that tab type rds in the search box and select rds under services on the rds console select db instances and here you'll see the rds instance we just create if you select it and select the configurations tab then scroll down here you will see the master password but aws doesn't show you the master password in the management console for security purpose the takeaway for this lecture is you can store the password for your rds database in the systems manager perimeter store then reference the perimeter in your cloud formation template to clean up the resources Go back to your cloud formation stack, select the stack and click delete. Then click delete stack. It is now deleting the cloud formation stack. The next resource we will delete is the perimeter we created in the systems manager perimeter store. So right click on the AWS logo and open it in a new tab. Go to that tab and type systems manager in the search box. Then select Systems Manager under Services. Click Perimeter Store. Check the box for the perimeter you just created and click Delete. Then click Delete Perimeters. This is how you store the password for your RDS database in the Systems Manager Perimeter Store and reference the perimeter in your Cloud Formation template. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, Please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.